Hey folks, I'm Scott Carter with uh, GatorZone.com. I'm here with my colleague Chris Harry, and uh, we just got through at UF Men's Basketball Media Day, talked to players, listened to Coach Billy Donovan talk earlier. Chris, uh, each season, you know, it's, it's Billy looks at this team as a puzzle that he tries to put together. Sounds like a, a familiar pattern this year. Well, yeah, and this is a team obviously that went 36 and three last year at a unbelievable Southeastern Conference season. Went 18 and 0, first team to go 18 and 0 in a conference. Swept through the conference tournament. But all these guys are gone. Patrick's gone, Scotty's gone, Casey's gone, Will's gone. Now, like you said, it's about building a puzzle, and the puzzle starts with returning players. Michael Frazier is the lone returning starter. Here comes Casey Hill. Here comes a guy like Chris Walker, who Billy Donovan has announced is going to miss the first couple regular season games on a suspension. But this is about defining roles. And right now, not one role any Gator played last year is going to be the same this year. So they're going to flush all that out during the preseason, probably take some uh, regular season games to further define those roles. Again, Chris Walker comes into the fold a couple games in the season. Alex Murphy, transfer from Duke, will come in after the after nine games do uh, transfer rules. So some things are going to kind of work themselves out as the preseason and early on in the regular season. I don't think the team that plays uh, November 14th against William & Mary in the season opener will look anything or play anything like the team that we'll see when the SEC begins. I mean, Chris, you can't really talk about this year's team without going back a little bit to those four seniors last year. I mean, that's a big, uh, huge void to replace. I mean, who are some of the guys that Billy's going to be looking at immediately to, you know, help out? Well, the, the, the guy that jumps out at you, I mean, Scotty Wilbekin was the SEC Player of the Year, and I think standing here last year when Scotty Wilbekin was suspended, no one knew how long or anything, nobody could have predicted that he was going to be the Southeastern Conference Player of the Year last season. Uh, taking his place, it's Casey Hill. I mean, Casey Hill played 22 minutes a game last year. I mean, he had 10 assists in a game against UCLA in the Sweet 16. We all we know what he can do. He was a two to one assist to turnover ratio guy, 100 assists, 50 turnovers. A lot is going to be asked of Casey Hill this year. He's probably going to have to play anywhere from 32 to 34 minutes a game. You got Michael Frazier, who's going to have to expand his game more. He can't just be a, a shooting threat from three point range. Everyone knows he can do that. What else can you do? Alex Murphy is a guy who's going to be a face the basket kind of guy. They're going have to start developing, like I said, these roles and find out where their offensive threats are. And again, it may take a few games to figure out what those are. And one thing in listening to uh, Coach Donovan talk, you know, he knows that without Patrick Young, they've lost a very physical presence there. Defense has always been kind of a strength under uh, him since he's took, taken over the program. Just how do they feel that defensive loss in Patrick Young? Well, it's going to be really, really hard to feel that defensive loss. It's going to be a collective effort. Uh, Chris Walker is going to have to be a presence inside. Chris Walker got in foul trouble a lot last year in, in minimal minutes. Uh, uh, guys like Dorian Finney-Smith have to play harder. He was a terrific rebounder last year. They're going to really ask a lot more of him. Devin Robinson is a freshman newcomer. Some guys are he's going to have to step up and play a lot early. And some guy I haven't even mentioned yet, Eli Carter, transferred here. Uh, from Rutgers last season, had a broken leg, had to sit out, but he's really, really looked good. He's lost about 20 pounds, and he's come a long way in the preseason and in the offseason. Of what I understand, he's going to have a little bit more of an impact than maybe some people giving him credit for. Again, November 14th, first game against William & Mary. We'll see how it goes. Well, guys, uh, that's it from here. Practice starts Friday. As Chris just said, the first game's coming up soon against William & Mary. For uh, Gator Zone Chris, I'm Gator Zone Scott. Thanks for joining us.